Well, here's my breeding hall that we made last episode. Now we just got to fill it up with villagers with the right enchantments. Let's go. Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today we're going to be bringing in the uh, villagers from our villager breeder over there. As you see, it has done a great job. And we're going to bring all those villagers over here and get them all apprenticed so we can keep them for getting books and trading with carrots and potatoes and all that jazz. So I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to uh, bring over my first villager and hopefully we'll have a good time with this villager. Party down! Before I continue, I wanted to say that this villager breeder, this was a, uh, a design that was based on Logical Geek Boy. Logical Geek Boy is a guy who is on the Legacy SMP server, and you should follow him. Um, and this is his design. It's not something that I came up. I did. I failed to mention that last episode. And a link will be for Logical Geek Boy down in the description. I'll have a link to his channel. Last episode, I had a link to this actual villager breeder. But I just wanted to make sure I mentioned in the video that this is Logical Geek Boy. He's a pretty awesome YouTuber. So we have uh, three villagers there and a whole bunch over here. We're going to start taking them out and start working with them. All right, we got the track laid down. So let's try and uh, get our first villager. There we go. Are you going to make it all the way? All right. So now we have our first villager. So let's see what he does. Does potatoes and carrots. So I'm going to take some potatoes right now. And I'm going to trade with this guy. Now he should be a novice. I mean an apprentice. So what I do then is I go like this. And I'll push him onto the rail. And push him into his spot. And there we go. The guy is in place. Actually, we got to do one more thing. We had the trap door so a uh, baby zombie can't get in here at all. So there's no way of anything getting in here whatsoever. Baby can't get in from over here because the trap door will make it so he can't sneak in there. And so he is 100% safe. So, and I leave him inside the mine cart. It's not as efficient iron wise, but we got the iron farm now, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to try another villager. We're going to get another farmer. All right, this guy has come become a farmer, and he's also got potatoes and carrots. So let's make him an apprentice. You always want more than one uh, villager guy that you want to trade with because they lock out their trades and then you got another guy you can go to, which is great. So this will be my backup. So are you an apprentice now? Yes, you are. So let's uh, bring him over to this this one and we can lock him in with the um, trap door. Now he's ready to go also. Now that we're starting to unlock these villagers, I'm going to uh, load up this thing with minecarts. Grab a villager. Add another minecart in there. Just going to see what this guy becomes. Well, he's going to become a uh, farmer. <laughs> That's for sure. We already know that. Alright, so we have our first five farmers in there. They're all basically trading carrots and... Um, potatoes and some beets so uh, I have a pretty good selection of what I can trade for and now it's time to uh, figure out which librarians to start bringing them in and this will give me the um, the emeralds that I need already let's see how many I got 30 emeralds already just by trading with these guys and these emeralds will help me unlock some of the librarians that need to where you need to buy um, bookshelves but first we're gonna do a another farming montage Cause it's 3 a.m. and I'm calling everybody that I know and here we go again oh 
Librarians in here already. Uh, we got an Aqua Affinity guy. We got the Curse of Binding guy. We got a Depth Strider 3 guy. Let's see what else we got. We got the Flame one. We have a Fortune 3. Infinity one. Luck of the Sea. Loyalty 3. What else do we have? We have the Punch 2, Respiration 3, and we have a Sweeping Edge 3. So we're slowly filling in these blanks and the holes, and uh, let's get a new guy. We'll, we'll get this guy uh, figured out. Hey, kitty, kitty. All right, so we put down the lectern, and we got this guy. He's got Fortune 3. Guess what? We've already got a Fortune 3 guy. As a matter of fact, I wanted to show you this. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Um, especially with such a good trade. This guy's got Fortune 3 and Fortune 3 twice. It's also got the Frostwalker, but we want a specific villager for the Frostwalker. So, Aqua Affinity, we've already got one of those. That's a whole bunch of crap. Infinity. Do we have an infinity? We do have the infinity, don't we? We have the infinity. All right. Curse of Binding. We've already got the Curse of Binding guy. So this one is continually giving us ones that we already have. Piercing three, I think that's a five. Where uh, piercing five is the best you can do. Piercing four, oh, so close. So basically, you just continue doing this until you get uh, something that you don't have yet. Frostwalker. Ooh, Silk Touch. Yeah. So Silk Touch is one that we do need. And this guy needs 90 emeralds to unlock. This is the only problem. To uh, make this guy a apprentice, I need to do 10 trades with the bookshelves. Which means I need 90 emeralds. And I don't think I have the ability to do that right now. I got one in there. Let's see how much stuff we got. Not much. Not much at all. So in order to fully undo this guy, I'm going to have to wait until my crops are done up again. Um, so I have wasted everything. I'm knocking the slash guy, which also needed the bookshelves. The other way uh, this is done is with paper. Sometimes you get the book, the Curse of Binding, and see, I could do the uh, unlocking him with the with the paper, and that made things a lot better. Oh, look at that. Looting three. So let's trade a little bit. Try and get as many emeralds as we can. It's not going to be much, but it's going to help us out. I wasted some emeralds to get in uh, some of these golden carrots because uh, I've run out of food for the most part. That's all we can do. Uh, let's 
Let's trade um, some paper. Paper trades are one of the best ways to get emeralds, but I like to save my paper for unlocking the um, the villagers. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the emeralds that you need. And I'm in search of 90 emeralds. So we could only get 29. Actually, we have 30. We're one third of the way there. But unfortunately, one third of the way there doesn't do it. So uh, we're gonna do something else while we wait. And as you see, I got some dark oak and spruce here. We are gonna build a house now. So let me go uh, check that area out. So I've decided I make an area up here. I filled in some of the uh, holes that went into uh, water sources, but I'm gonna uh, do it back over here. Um, what I'm gonna do is do one here, skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven right there then make a square one two three four five six seven skip then one two three four five six seven skip all right so we want the front of this to be over here so we skip one add there this will be our doorway one two three right that then skip one I do that all the time. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There, one, two, three, four, five. There, one, four, five. There, we go back one. So this is the layout of the of that place. Let's see. Quaint little house. Nothing major, just a little house. So what we need to do now is to raise all these pillars up to four. One, two, three. So we're gonna add three to each one of them. Once they're all raised up to the uh, four high, we uh, connect them all. Like this. Now we add the walls, which are gonna be one in, like this from the edges all right now that we got the inside filled in um, I'm gonna choose out the windows this is gonna be a an area for the enchanting room so the enchanted tables going right here then the bookshelves go around here so this is all gonna be covered up but there's gonna be a window there's gonna be a window two windows let's see we got that there that there I think that's how we're gonna do it because this isn't supposed to be here that's why I got it so it's actually supposed to look like that so it looks a lot better. So let's bring this up to the top. Now we're gonna add a uh, half slab to the top of all of these, just like this, around the whole building. All right, so we're gonna take some andesite here and we're gonna build a entrance with the door so there's our entrance it's it's okay but I'm gonna finish this build off camera and I'll be right back with it done all right I've finished the outside of the house let's go take a look at what I've done let's go around this tree and it is just base a basic house I added some uh, I added a chimney even though there's no fireplace on the inside but uh, well, what are you going to do? The uh, house is made specifically to house a certain... Um, it's to house a certain amount of builds. Basically a bedroom and an enchanting room. And that's basically it. 
So let's take a look around the side. So it's it's a basic house. I mean, there's nothing special to it. Uh, the only thing weird about it is that the roof overhangs too. Um, so let's take a look on the inside for a second. See, the inside's pretty basic. Um, I'm gonna have a bed over here and a couple other things to make this area look okay. Um, gonna have some sort of table here with, you know, a, a pot on it with the flower or something. And then here's the enchanting room. And like I said, the uh, enchanting table's going here and the bookshelves all around there. So uh, first off, I'm gonna get rid of the floor. All right, the floor is in. Um, just half slabs. <laughs> I chicken out with half slabs all the time. So I'm gonna put that there, and I'm gonna make a couple of stairs here. Oops. Let's put this here. And that right there. So we got ourselves a little table, and I'm gonna see if I have any more. No. Let me, uh, let me put down some of these. You know what's funny is I have yet to get obsidian, so I have yet to get the ice bucket challenge. Ice bucket challenge got. All right, so we're gonna put that there. We're gonna throw this in there. Now we're going to throw down the rest of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And then we're going to throw down the enchantment table right in the center. So hopefully we can get. Look at that. Alright. Now we just gotta bring some lapis lazuli. Lazuli. From the basement. One final thing we need to do before we uh, get done with that room. We need an anvil. That's right. Every good enchantment room deserves an anvil. So we need to stick that in the. Uh, house. There's a specific place for it. And that is right here. Anvil land. Now we need to place a bed down here. This is going to be the bedroom. I'm going to uh, do the rest of the inside here for now. And I'll be back. So I'm done with the inside so let's go check it out. So in here we have some bushes. We have that table that we're working on with a flower. We got a, uh, <laughs> a plank with a pressure plate on it. <laughs> I don't know, to make it look good. Uh, some more bushes. We have this uh, painting. I uh, customized the painting so they're different. And we got the painting back there that's a little bit different. Um, then we have this bunk bed. Come up here to sleep. A little cooking area with some more lights and lots of storage here storage all over the place and over here we have the enchanting table area and um, this nice little desk some more flowers so uh, let me know what you think of this interior and I'm gonna take a nap. Get ready for the day. I put down, I brought in a villager and I put down a lectern for him and he didn't, wasn't attracted to that one. So I let him out of the um, the minecart, and he waddled over here, and he took this guy's lectern, but I still need to unlock him, um, channeling. He's at a, a novice right now, I need to make him an apprentice, so let's, uh, get some emeralds on me. Let's, we got 35 right now, 
We got some uh, goods out here to trade. All right, we have the 90 emeralds that we need to uh, break this guy, make him an apprentice. So let's get that going. So basically, you just buy bookshelves until he becomes an apprentice. And what happens when he becomes an apprentice is that he won't lose his trades. So now that this guy is locked into the channeling trade, he won't change that trade anymore. There we go. Oh, that's nice. So I gotta move this guy over to the channeling. There he goes into the channeling. One. We place his electron so we know what type of villager he is. And then we're gonna place the um, the trapdoor right there. And there we go. We have our channeling villager. And when you weren't looking, um, I got myself a mending one also. So pretty soon we're going to be able to start working with the um, villagers a little bit better. Start getting the books that we want and start enchanting our stuff. We we are missing some major ones like uh, on Breaking 3. That's a villager I would like to see. So I'm going to throw the lectern down and get another villager. Let's see what this guy... Whoop. What was that all about? All right. This guy, he initially came in and wanted this guy, this one, but he uh, decided he wants a different one now. So let's see where he goes. You go into the mending guy also? Infinity. We already have an infinity guy. Thorns 2? Nope. Efficiency 3? Not bad, but nope. Aqua Infinity. We've got last protection. So I just keep throwing down this bookcase until I get something that... Uh, is worthy for this guy and that makes it a little difficult near the end when uh, you're just looking for a specific book paling four paling five is one channeling we just got so this guy over here has impaling five and he's easy to make a novice it's a lot easier when they do the paper trades there we go just like that and he is regular human being. Taking the extra reels there, so we're gonna throw them into that box. Cover them up. It's not like impaling five is gonna be one I'm gonna use at all. I mean, I might use it once. Um, but it's always nice to have the, the ability, to, if I ever wanted it, to have it readily active. So let's go get another villager. All right, we just got the multi-shot guy. So multi-shot is now done. Now let's get the next guy. Here's the next. Ah, oh, he did it again. Well, we've got another silk touch guy. I lost the last silk touch guy because he had the... Um, bookshelf trade and I was unable to do it quick enough and I also have to do it for the bookshelf trade on this one also um, I'm 56 percent 56 emeralds on the way there um, but I'm gonna have to call it for this episode I'm gonna continue doing the uh, trading and getting the villagers going but I'm all done for this episode have a great day it's KMA goodbye <laughs>